This is Strategy Board Games Club. So students have a chance to try out some more complex games than the average, you know, classic, say, Clue or Life. You know, they take a little bit more teaching and learning, but it's also more collaborative and they can go on for longer and they can allow for more players. And there's different themes to the game, so kids can have, like, like they can kind of pick what interests them more because the, the games kind of have different, um, I guess, different skills, different, like, artwork, different, you know, like, I guess, playability. Okay. So examples are Catan, Mysterium. Um, they also play games like an older one, like um, Masterpiece or Lanterns or King Domino. Basically, these are different kinds of games. Some of them are like tile setting games. Others are collaborative, like either everyone wins or everyone loses games. In other games, you play for yourself and you're sort of racing other players. Um, and some of them are like collecting different uh, objectives or meeting different goals or getting victory points. I mean, it's really diverse. So some of them are dice rolling, card, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> Uh, we have two fire and we have a water. The only thing that she could use is water. They get to build these relationships with other students um, and they can hold on to those friendships, especially because we do the game club during the school year as well. And they'll like come in and be like, oh, I see you again. It was nice seeing you this summer. And they can play more games and then they even get to become leaders because then they can teach during the school year, they can teach other kids how to play these games. Mm -hmm. And that's my favorite, just being able to stand back and watch the kids teach other kids and then just kind of facilitating it. I think that's the best part. I'll trade you a brick for an ore. Sure, deal. I could always use more bricks. So the first game that they're playing right now over there is called The Settlers of Catan. You trade resources and build, uh, develop, uh, sorry, you build settlements, you collect developments, and you build roads. And you're trying to reach 10 victory points before someone else can. Um, and then the other game we were playing over there is Takinoko. It's a game where you're in a, uh, a Japanese bamboo garden and you're collecting bamboo as the panda or you're growing bamboo as the gardener, trying to meet uh, nine objectives before someone else can meet nine objectives. Drastically different, but both like games are, there's more than one way you can win. It's not just one tactic, which I also think is kind of special because in life or like Clue, there's really only like one way to win. But with these games, kids can play to different strengths. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I think they prefer actually. I think they love it. They ask me for new games each week. Uh, they come in, they're like, what are we playing this week? At first they wanted to play some of like the classics, but now they don't want to anymore. They want new challenges every week, which is great to see them coming out of their shell and taking more risks.